Hey, what is up guys? I always get really nervous before starting videos and I'm not exactly sure why. Not like anyone watches anyways. I'm sitting here sweating because I'm too nervous to start. Um, I just wanted to make a video quickly talking about the things that I've picked up in the past couple weeks. Um, some kind of weird stuff, some stuff that I'm really excited about some stuff that I've been waiting a very long time for. The biggest thing, um, one of the biggest things is this right here, which is a WADA grade seven, not a high grade at all, super low, I think. Um, the box is super ugly. It's not sealed, it's a complete in box. Um, hopefully you can see all of that on the top. Pokemon Silver version, made in Japan, E rating. Um, the top of the box, if you can see that, there's a big crease right there. I got this off of eBay. I got the actual box off of eBay um, back in March, I believe. I didn't plan on getting it graded or anything. I mean, there's like parts missing from the box, right? Um, but when I, I made a I made a big sale a while ago, I think it was the uh, I think it may have been the No Rarity Charizard. No, it would have been way before that. I made a pretty big sale. I think it was the uh, Mario and Luigi cards. And so I had some extra money laying around and I just had this box. So I figured may as well get it graded. It took a very long time. It took over 85 business days at their like express level. Um, but I mean, look how <laughs> so nostalgic. The box is super beat up, but it's such an affordable little piece that I can kind of just, ugh, dude, it looks so good. Um, what else have I purchased? I got some of these, let me grab these. I got some of these, Mold Trace 21. These are the Error, which are the much more common version. Got some Mold Trace 21, I got 10 of them here beautiful. I'm gonna get those graded. Um, and I actually have a lot more of these. I only took 10 of them out. I actually had purchased, I believe, a hundred, a hundred and four of them, I think is what the math was, or a hundred and three of them maybe. I went through and then put these little tags on it so that I could be sure which bird is which, because I did get the other two birds as well. I got a lot more Moltres than the other two birds. Um, I don't really know how that happened. I don't know how. Um, I purchased a lot of Ancient Muse off of a guy off Craigslist a few months ago. Um, and so he just happened to have these as well, I guess. I got them for a decent price, but nothing spectacular. Enough where I can sell most of them to make the money back and then just keep a very small amount to get graded it's just a it's just a super small move it's nothing huge um these weren't sorted super well when i got them and a few of these were actually damaged from the guy who i bought them from because he tried sorting them and so if you take your fingernail apologies for my really gross fingernail right now um you can kind of shove it and kind of figure out what's what, but if you don't care about the cards, like I imagine he didn't, um, you can just go through and just kind of destroy them all. So I got 103 Moltres, I believe. I haven't gone through and checked their condition super closely. Um, but I think there's 103 of those. There's something like 27 Zapdos. which I think I'm gonna sell all of these. I think I'm just keeping some of the Moltres just cause there's so many of them. And if I'm selling them to someone then I want them to have as many copies of the other birds as possible. And there were only five Articuno. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't, but look, I'm an expert now. You know, you can kinda if these are sealed and if you have any of these sealed, you might want to check, see if you can't push it up super carefully. Do not damage the card or else 
nobody will like you. You can check the uh, the artist on the bottom. If it's this Aoki person, then you got the uh, the cheaper version, the common the common version that everyone has. It wasn't fixed until I guess later into the print run. I don't fucking know. Um, what else is new? I was giving some of these away. I had nine of them, I think, 10 of them, something like that. I think I maybe had like 13 or 14. I put some, some of them in my grading pile. Um, and then I was just kind of giving a few away on like Discord. Um, just because, I don't know, it feels good. That's all it is. It makes me feel good. Um, I had someone, shout out Zakiel, shout out Rainy Day Collectibles, who said, wow, nice first edition Neo Genesis booster box. Well, it's opened. I bought it opened. I bought it empty. I bought an empty box. And then I put a wrapper from the, uh, the Simpsons Wizards of the Coast box. And it is completely full, almost of various old expensive packs that I've opened. Just all sorts of stuff. And then I've put like random, like modern cards in there just to give them weight. Um, it's nothing like sketchy, it's just for me. But you know, I've opened quite a few base set packs. I've opened six first edition jungle packs. A bunch of Japanese stuff. I think three Japanese base set packs. I really slowed down on opening vintage packs though, because I don't know. I prefer having them sealed. Anyway, so if you ever wonder what that's about, it's just an empty box. Um, okay, so we can get rid of the Moltres. What else have I purchased? What else have I come across? I got these. I got Grookey on the ball. I already have... I have two Eevees um, at PSA right now in bulk, so they're not going to come back for a long time. Um, the last video I had a, God, what was it? Oh, I already had a PSA 7. So in the last video, I got a PSA 8 base set Charizard. Um, I already had a PSA 7. And so I went ahead and traded that for this plus, I believe, $400 in cash. So, I mean, it looks pretty strong. It's like definitely off center on the back. This is definitely thinner than on the right. Um, I might just sell it for like 400 bucks if I can get it. I might just, I mean, realistically, I'm probably just gonna throw it into an express submission on the next one, which I think is what the next video is gonna be, is me deciding on what cards I wanna submit in my next submission. Um, Maybe I'll get super lucky. It's super off center though. But, uh, I mean, oh well, we can get lucky. If not, oh well. Couple days, ooh, we'll do this. I submitted this and I got this back. It's a 1981 Topps Joe Montana rookie card. It got a five. I bought it for $80 and then I spent 50 to get it graded. So I'm definitely in the negative right now. We're kind of just counting on Joe Montana to die here so I can make a few dollars on this shout out joe um i don't really know like the corner like the bottom corner is definitely a little bent i don't, I don't know. it's definitely super off center i didn't know what i was looking for when i bought the card i just kind of wanted to have fun with it I buy it get it graded uh throw it in a shoe box see what happens to it um a couple days ago i went to a card shop and i picked up these Vivid Voltage, Lugia pre-release, beautiful, and the Charizard. Charizard looks super nice, super well-centered. On the back, it's like perfectly centered. There's a white nick on the corner. I think it has a shot at a 10. Really excited about that. Um, whoops, let's turn that back on. And in the title, you can see Sky Ridge Pack Weighing or something. So I bought this pack 
from ZNG. Shout out ZNG. Shout out James. Congrats on quitting your job. I uh, I bought this pack because at the time base set packs were going for about a thousand or more dollars, and Skyridge had been at a thousand for a while and was still at a thousand, and this pack actually was less than a thousand dollars. And so that to me seemed like an absolute steal. It didn't make sense to me why people were paying so much for base set packs, but the price of Skyridge was staying the exact same. So I figured that I'd scoop this up, and uh, I just loved it so much that I bought another. So I have two Skyridge packs. Halfway to the art set, don't know if I'll finish it. Don't know if I'll open one of them. I think they are both light and we can do that really quick on camera. So first is the Polyrath, which is lighter. And it's going to be, it should be 17.4 grams. So definitely on the light side. And then I believe the Vaporeon should be, you know what, I'll hold it. You can find out. 17.49 it's been 17.5 there it is and then sometimes it's even been 17.51 see look at that very heavy um that's mostly all that i've come across definitely it feels like a slow week for purchases even though it's definitely not um it just kind of feels like it I have a PSA return coming in a couple days, maybe two or three days. Hopefully it can come on Saturday and I don't have to wait until Monday for it. Um, Cause then I will definitely record a video of me getting those. That submission is really exciting. That's gonna have the Rainbow Rare Charizard VMAX from Champion's Path. It's gonna have, um, what else is it gonna have? It should have two first edition jungle Pikachus, a first edition jungle Eevee. All three of those I pulled directly from a pack. And uh, how many cards is that? That three, four. And then it's also going to have a. God, oh, a an unlimited Charizard Hollow, dark Charizard Hollow from Jesus Christ from Team Rocket. And then an unlimited uh, Blastoise, Dark Blastoise Hollow. And then there's another card in there that I'm forgetting, but I'm sure it'll be Poggers AF, dude. Um, so next video should be me going over. I might even just do it right now, to be honest. Um, I'm probably gonna end this video and then do that, but I have this box of cards that I need to submit. Um, and I need to figure out what cards I want to submit as express and what cards I want to submit as just standard bulk. And we can do that in the next one. There's a little sneak peek. This boy's going in bulk. What do you guys think? So pretty excited for that. I'll probably just end this video and then directly start that one up. So you'll see almost no difference if you just go watch that one immediately after. Um, and again, I might end up opening the heavier of the Sky Ridge, even though it's definitely light, just because, I don't know, dude, I deserve it, right? What if we get a reverse Crystal Charizard, you know? Could be fun. Anyway, Jesus, dude, this is a shit show. Thanks for watching.